Hey there. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. Guess I should start from the beginning. That's the way it is. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case, this killing game will continue until there are only two people left. Now, the important part of that rule is that... Oh, there is one more thing. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first... Anyone who finds out who you are is gonna come for you. So watch your back. Trust no one. And never forget... You wanted this killing game, so you have to win, no matter what. No matter what. Live and let languid war live. Okay, that's gonna be... That's already causing shivers go up my arms and up my spine. And whatever... Whatever that message was about... I am having, having actually ideas. I'm having ideas and probably... This is a hint. This is a major, major hint of what's going on. First he said, there is a meaning why the only two people are going to be alive through this. And he said this is not the first time. This is not the first, I guess, this is not the first event I've been to that's similar to this. And the wanted a killing game as well. Damn, now this is gonna, this is gonna bother me to the end of oblivion until we can figure out what the hell that meant. Anyway, hi everybody, how's it going? My name is Demir, welcome everybody to Danganronpa V3, the continuing on to chapter 4, the morning after the third class trial. After waking up from Monokuma's announcement, headed to the dining hall as always. Oh, couple people there, everybody, everybody I think is here. Uh, um... Good morning, everyone. Except Gonta, he's not here. I didn't see him there. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Ah! <laughs> what kind of a sigh was that? Oh my god. It's a dark mood in the air of the dining hall today. That's to be expected, with what we've been through. In a situation like this, I don't see how we all could possibly stay enthusiastic. Yeah, definitely. Jesus. Well, with two exceptions. Yo! What's wrong, bro? You're not gonna eat? <laughs> if you don't eat, then Gonta will eat, will eat you instead, Shuichi. Huh? Gonta will. Uh, he'll eat me? Don't you mean for my breakfast? You know... Speaking of Gonta, where is he? I haven't seen him this morning. Hmm. He's not here yet? Hmm. He's probably still sleeping. <laughs> Why is Mew sighing so much? <laughs> that doesn't sound like a sigh, it sounds like she's exhausted or exasperated. Good lord. This atmosphere is heavy. Everyone's really taking a mental beating. Hey! Especially Himiko. Especially. And she is the only one. Look at that. Look at Himiko. She is the one out of everybody here riling everybody back up. Now that is a fighting spirit. You know, we gotta hang out with Himiko. We definitely gotta hang out there. <clears throat> Getting back to the voices. Hey, you guys have no energy. You need to look alive. You're all still teenagers. Huh? Himiko. Okay. Yo, good morning. Is that too quiet? It's causing you so quiet that you feel down. Oh. There we go. There we go. And Mew just continues to sigh. God, Mew, what's going on? Hey! Maybe you should sigh louder. Weirdo. Weird. I thought you'd be the most depressed out of all of us. Mm. Of course, I'm depressed. This is the most depressed I've been in all my 200 million years. 200 million years. I guess mages do live long, don't they? What is this? 200 million years? But... But being depressed won't help those who died in rest in... Died rest in peace. Take good nature too. If I stay depressed, I won't be able to rest in peace either. Okay! Hey! So in order to make the deaths have meaning, I just live my life with positivity. That's a lot of positiv positivity intensified. <laughs> <laughs> With a shake of the screen. Oh my god, can somebody gift that? Can somebody please gift that? Please, somebody please gift that. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna make it look like a 
an actual thing. So just somebody please, for love of God, gift that. And I'll post it on Discord or tweet at me or something. That'd be incredible. Because I'm going to end up forgetting about it anyways. I need somebody else to do it for me, please. I beg of you. So anyway, please take care of the new me. Come on, man. You're out of breath already. You know, you know, you go full speed right out of the gate. Yeah. But it's just like Himiko said. Most of us left need to look, uh, look for the future and live. For the other sakes. Right? Yeah, let's up and work hard. This game is just getting started. Huh? Uh, game? Oh? Huh? Is that what they were talking about? <sighs> uh, now that there's those people, I might be next victim. Wow! So exciting, but I definitely don't want to die. <laughs> well, I guess that's the same for everyone. Oh, uh, yes. Messing around. Still saying crap like that at the time, like... Just then, the door to the dining hall burst open and... Gonta? Yeah, hi Gonta. This big problem! Oh boy, something happened. Everyone, this is serious. How? Oh no, the class of high school girls on the other side of the wall. Isn't she? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the colossal high school girl is on the other side of the wall. This is Attack on Titan reference. Oh! Okay, maybe not that serious, but going to went to Cordia before coming here. Could it be... The graffiti? Was more added to it? Mm. Yeah, more letters added. What does it say now? Can you make a sentence? This world is... Huh? I'm not sure what it's trying to spell. The swords, or maybe this world? It looks like it, it looks like it says this world is mine to That's literally what it says. It looks, if you put it if you put in the letters loosely, this world is a mine to something. This world is mine to blank. Why does that feel familiar? Wait. What about the world? What does it mean? Is some crazy story going on? Hmm. It's probably just graffiti, right? We should ignore it. No. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Do you want to die? Oh boy. Huh? But what? All right, that's just a habit of hers. But my heart skips a bit every time. Because. I mean, when you see those eyes and she says, "Do you want to die?" I mean, I don't know. There's something intense and kind of hot about it. I'm discovering new things about myself every day. Every time I record these, every time, no one here takes credit for it, right? But now there's more added to it. Must have some meaning. You know... Uh, so seriously, none of us here wrote it? Is this a prank? You better speak up. But... But Gonta stumbled onto the writing by coincidence, right? If it was a prank, then it would have done in a more obvious spot, not in the grass. There's nothing more depressing than an unnoticed prank. Oh, I see. He would know, he would know it. It's like a titty no one wants to fondle. Oh. <laughs> okay, alright, um... Okay. Ah. Well, could be Gonta running it since he was the first one to find. Gonta never do that. Gonta never make trouble for everyone. It's ungentlemanly. No, he wouldn't do it. Besides, I don't think there's a. See, the reason he's able to see this kind of stuff is because it's so tiny. But he has like a 20 to 100 or 20 to 120 vision. He has some crazy vision, so he could see insects really, really well. So the fact that the writing is so tiny, I don't think even a regular pen could do it. Let's say it had something with a really, really fine point. And besides, why are we going to do it? Why would he do that to us? What is that writing? It's got to be a message. It feels like it gets more and more added as more of us die. But he definitely says this world is mine to... It's a mate. I, I don't know what what that means. I think the the ma part is like part of a mate, something mate, like this, like incriminate. I don't know. It feels like it's part of a fragment. Mate? No, that wouldn't work. Decimate. This world is mine to something. This world is mine to something. I don't know what it is. More and more gets added. Who's doing it? What does it mean? Ugh. Well, how do we get it, bud? Maybe some kind of clue. Well done! Thanks for the report, Gonta. Hmm. Gonta just got to help. Oh, yeah. Gonta wants to help, even little. Tell Gonta if you need help with something, okay? Okay. Okay, got it. I'll let you know if I want you to punch someone. Wait! No, you don't get to tell Gonta what to do anymore. Gonta. Yeah, Gonta learned less than after insect meet and greet. Man. Boring. Say, so learn. Hey, hey, buddy. Haha, <laughs> hi. 
Oh, my ears are burning. Are you guys talking about me again? You must love me. Yay! Are you getting dizzy from face? Oh, from the face? Oh, from the face I make when I concentrate really hard. Actually, your face is always the same, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Never mind that. You guys are probably eager for it, right? My prize, that is. <laughs> right? <laughs> fidget, fidget. Oh my god. <laughs> right? You guys can live without getting a prize right now, right? That's what I thought, so I brought a prize. Prize and shine, sign. Just one? Oh, two, oh, at least. Prize and shine, sign. Only she said, huh, Mona Fanny? <laughs> huh? What's an earth sign? Hmm. I'm not forgetting your catchphrase like Kiss of Death from Mascot, you know? Because <laughs> I'm a mascot, get it? Not that! I wasn't even a joke. There was no setup, no punchline, no nothing. Mm -hmm. By the way, where's the pink stuff pig and why is she talking to me? <gasps> oh! Wow! Right now. Monotaro's head is busted! One solid rock should make him remember! Damn! Oh wow, that is savage, Monotaro. Ooh. Ouch! Uh, where am I? Where's Kaoru? But your character is completely different now! Kaoru? Pops, my family. And you, thank you for loving me! Oh my god. Come on! Remember it already! You're gonna have to smack him a little harder than that. They're so freaking cute! <laughs> ah, they're so adorably fascinating. I could watch him forever. No. Had, how about enough? I had about enough of them. Hey, hey, hey give us some love. Give us some love too. I want a Mario Ward already. Um. Why don't you get so friendly with Monokuma Kikichi? Now then! Okay, okay. The prize this time is... What is it? Ta-da! The legendary Levy Stone, the priceless Octo Brush, and... A card key! Which just so happens to be the motive, too! What? Excuse me? Motive? Hey! Do you see motive? Yeah! Yep, Mysterious Card Key is your next motive. How nice! That's a carrot and stick approach. Then I can work a carrot and a stick like daddy. Huh? Screw a carrot and a stick. Give me whips and chains all the way. Oh, whoa, okay. Alright, me. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely have to, uh. <laughs> stop by Adam and Eve store next, uh, uh, once we're done with this entire place, okay? No. The card key is a motive? What does that even mean? <gasps> Ooh. I wonder if the card key can be used in a library. Remember how there was a card key reader in a library? And we never were able to figure out who is opening that stuff up. Except Pranthor was able to open up the bookshelf. I'm guessing he was doing his own investigation, that's why he did it. But I wonder... I wonder... If... The card key can be used for the library. Hmm. So the new area you can open with a card key. Is that what the real motive is? <laughs> As a secret, why don't you use it if you're so curious? Please wait. No, we shouldn't. We want to prevent another murder from happening. <laughs> Yoink, I'll take the car key then. He chooses his lithe body. Lithe body to his advantage. Do the car key from Monokuma. No can do that! But the Monokuma's motive. What if another murder happened? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind that at all, you know? Huh? What? Because? Because it's a killing game. We are the players. Plain and simple. Why wouldn't the players play the game? Don't screw around! Quit screwing around, just give it to us. No way! No thanks, see ya! You know what we need? That's enough! We need to have a Kibo and Gon to team up together. Kibo to blind, or to. Yeah, Kibo to blind uh, Kokichi and then Gon to. Honestly, I don't know, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe give the guy a light smack. That'd be, I mean, with Gonta's, with Gonta's huge, uh, Gonta is pretty strong. Maybe even, like, to put, put Kokichi somewhere. I don't know, like, put him in, like, a cage or something. I don't know, put him in some sort of container so he can get out for a little bit. He is, he is a little bit, he is a little bit too impish for the uh, for this sort of thing. And while he's not exactly a threat right now, I, can't, I don't really exactly see him much of a threat for the entire group. I do feel like he is very proddy about this sort of things. Clearly, he's gonna try to force a motive in, in this way. Clearly, I can just feel it. He's gonna use a keycard in some way to force a motive and to force a killing. That's just that's just a hunch again, but he's been extremely helpful, so I can't exactly be too upset with him. Hey, what up? Beat you over now, the dining hall. Pursued by Kaito. Unbelievable. 
running in the halls is normally allowed, but I suppose boys will be boys, there are no rules for a monokuma. Yeah, yeah. Also, also I forgot to mention this, but I've hidden another flash backlight somewhere. <laughs> Looking uh, forward to it! I wonder what memories you'll uncover next! Happy hunting! I do wonder that as well. Cause Angel wanna broke the so other long. one that we had. Farewell. Bye! Oh god, it's so sad. Oh. Yeah? What's so long be around meant? <laughs> You forgot that too? Come on, let's go. Oh, okay. So long. Farewell. And now the left. Wait! I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit depressing seeing the monocobs dwindle in numbers little by little by little by little. I don't know. It's a little bit it's a little bit depressing. Call it right now, Monotaro's gonna die next. Monotaro will probably die next. Or I feel like Monofan is gonna push Monotaro to the brink of death. It always seems like there's some sort of a pattern. Maybe maybe Monofani will turn out to push Monotaro, who knows, but I kind of feel like Monotaro is going to be the mischievous uh, the mischievous one here. Granted, he was the one to push uh, Monodam, so maybe. What should we do? Kokichi and Kaito are gone. I'm worried. We cannot leave Kokichi alone with that card key motive. But... Aren't you curious about the flashback light too? That's true. Perhaps we should all search together and look for Kokichi as well. Well... That's a good idea. Let us look for Kikichi while you focus on the search. Logical. Right now, we need your skills as a detective, Shuichi. Then... Alright. In that case, let me hold on to that. I'll look around again. Yeah! Shuichi's grown up. He becomes so reliable. Now that you're so respectable, how'd you pet me if you want? Actually... That was adorable, actually. I see. So Shuichi gets the honor that honor. Mm. Shuichi's so amazing. Gunto want to be useful to everyone, too. It's okay. Don't worry. When time comes, we'll use your body as a meat shield. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Okay, going to hope time comes soon. No. No, that's not. Oh. Gonta is. Gonta is a gentleman. But he's not common sense smart. Nor does he really understand when Maki says stuff like that or when people uh, use him like that. He's so innocent. And I kind of feel bad whenever people use him like that. No, you should hope that doesn't come. Yeah, hopefully not. Okay, where to begin? A searchable place to use these mysterious items. Yes, we are on to explore for a little bit. But as we explore, I also want to talk to the characters around every section of the uh, every section here uh, of the school, just because there might be some events that we can unlock, and we do have special items for certain events and everything. So I want to make sure they can be usable. Let's go ahead and look up the map here, shall we? Let's see what we got going on. Also, I gotta say, I I gotta change the theme for this. I gotta change the theme to let's do uh. Let's go back and have a throwback for Kaeda's theme. That's what we'll do. We'll do Kaeda's theme for now. That should be pretty cool. Let's do that. Just in memory of Kaede. So what do we got going on here? We got the entrance hall. Nothing much we can really do here in particular. Or the magician's lab. Nothing we can do anything in particular. Nobody's on this floor, at least from what I can see. Let's see. Let's go to second floor building. Nobody's there as well. Third floor building. Nobody's there as well. Fourth floor building. Looks like there was an event for fourth floor building. Oh yeah, the brush. Oh! I wonder if the brush could be used here, on this floor. That's a possibility. Let's go to the three rooms first. We'll start there, in case we can uh, meet up and talk to certain people. But I do wonder if we can use a brush over here somewhere. I wonder if the brush... Oh, now that I think about it, could the brush be used here? Like paint something on the scrolls here? The hanging scrolls? Ooh! Maybe. Let me look around here for a little bit. Let me see if I can find like a... Monokuma. Hidden Monokuma. I've been terrible finding these Hidden Monokumas. I don't know what it is. I need to, like, look up guides and see if I can find any whatsoever. Because I've been... I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because it's, like, in third person. We gotta actually look around a lot. But I've been having a terrible time finding them. At all. Um... Angie. You had strange methods, but you rejected the killing game and wanted us to live in harmony. But all that was taken away for some stupid reason. I never knew you, knew you too well, but I'll never forget you. Aw. Actually, that's, that's a little very sentimental. I kind of want to go back and uh, see what happens if we go back to the other lab. Let's go to uh, uh, Koreki's lab. See if he can remember anything. We also gotta stop by Kaede's lab, see if there are any events happening there. Maybe there are. Kyo, he said. How, how you come to terms with death determines how you live. Perhaps I understand what you mean. By facing Kaede's death, I was able to embrace my own talent, move forward. But... But I don't know if I'll ever truly understand your answer. Yeah. Well, he just wanted his, uh, 
just have to have a, a thousand friends, so how much you can do with that. These pegs over here, these holes, look kind of weird. Anyway, let's see if we can use a brush here. Oh, that's fancy. Monocum art, interesting. Oh! Oh! More stairs. Huh. A staircase. Seems we can go upstairs in here. Hmm. The fifth floor, huh? How many floors does the school have? I think they kind of just build more floors as it happens. I kind of want to go back downstairs real quick and look at something. As interesting- oh, wow! <laughs> I could be your angle. Or your devil. Okay, so we got a... A heaven sub monokuma and a devilish monokuma. And this is the stairs back down. Kind of will go down here and see what we can find. I thought if you could look on the side, you can actually find some sort of panels. Let me check on that, see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, there's some sort of like weird panels over there. I'm not sure if that's just the flooring or what, but looks a little bit odd. Does that look odd to you? It kind of looks like computer screens stacked together. That's kind of what it looks like. Anyway, let's go ahead and head upstairs then. Let's see what the fifth floor is all about. Hallway, fifth floor. Let's check the map here. Looks like there's only one room here. No, two rooms. Interesting. Okay, let's walk around here for a little bit, see what we can find. Are there any hidden monokumas behind here by any chance? I would think there would be. I mean, I've been absolutely terrible at finding them. Hmm. Why is this particular piece of glass not reflecting well? What is going on here? Do you see this on the floor? There's one- oh wait, no, there's another particular fragment. Maybe it's no purpose, I don't know. Maybe it's no purpose, maybe I'm just overthinking it. What's happening over here? Nothing over on here? Nope, nothing around here. I thought maybe we can find, like, a hidden monokuma come up behind these pillars and stuff. Let's talk to... hold on, what is this here? Oh! Oh, this must be, uh, This must be Tsumiki's lab. Hey! It's a completely different feel from the fourth floor. Huh? A door over there could just... They're just plain suspicious. Could it be... Oh yeah, I see it. That's her lab. They gotta be her lab. Let's go check it out. Let's see what's inside there. Looks like an ultimate lab. Let's check inside. Hope Tsumiki does a minor sentry her lab before she does. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Even more impact over there. Oh, there's even the... Uh... Oh. Oh, it's different sets being built over and over. <gasps> it's the sets from the second game. In the first game as well. Oh, sets from the second game. That's what it's building there. The classroom, the bathroom from one of the uh, from one of the trials. I think the uh, second class trial or third class. No, definitely second class trial. And then the castle, where you find the ultimate key for the uh, progression of the game. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Huh. It's amazing. It's like an event venue. I must believe this is the ultimate cosplayer's lab. This place is huge. And you know what else I'm kind of getting a, a feeling of? I feel like this, because of how big this is, I don't know why, but again, I'm five that maybe this could be used as a crime scene. Jeez, this is huge. Check out John's studio set first. The set of photo shoots, huh? And a bunch of backdrops here. It's an incredible setup. Yeah, it's a really, really impressive. This is a castle, just unpacked just like that. Filming set? We got a filming set, let's check it out. This is another set for photo shoots. It's quite a gothic feel. Why does it look familiar? What else do we have here? Do we have the cosplays we can check out? We can smack them around. Okay, so we can smack a bunch of stuff around here. There we go. It's weird on, on the controller, you have to like, really finagle when it comes to slapping things around. The workshop? I guess we can check out the workshop. Let me just smack the chair out here. There we go. And the desk. Let's check out the workshop here, see what we got going on. Sewing machine and work table. Got speci uh, speci a place to make or repair costumes? Probably. It looks still really cool. Giant studio set, already checked on that. Huge, huge place. And a bar set, ooh. Check that out. Looks like a bar. Is it set too? Yeah. 
Well, what do you think? Well, do you know? It tastes like the real thing. Smoogie so spoke cheerfully and sat down at a table in front of the counter. Hey! Chuchi, are you thirsty? I can make you one of my signature cocktails if you like. Huh? A signature cocktail? Yeah! It seems like all the drinks here are top quality stuff. <laughs> He's make a, 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 a part time job. Don't worry, it's not alcoholic, of course. Then. Okay, I'll take one. What should be alcoholic? What should be actually alcoholic? Oh! How would you like it? A little stronger, maybe? Well then. Huh? Uh, sure. Who knew that, uh. Smiggy knew how to make drinks? That's actually kinda cool. Alright. What should be wow, actually alcoholic? You're good at this, aren't you? Yeah. Before I got sponsors for my cosplaying, I worked a bunch of jobs. I used to say to my customers, I'm in a bit of financial trouble. If only someone could help me out. Oh, ho -ho, well then. What? What is this feeling? I suddenly feel charitable. <laughs> Alright, so to me you worked her charms in order to get um, a lot of uh, funding for costumes because she, before she got full on sponsors, huh? Alright. I mean... If she gotta do what she gotta do to make a cosplay dream reality, then hey, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. If a girl like that served me up, I'd be pretty terrible too. <laughs> She's cute. She's a cute girl. Okay, it's ready. Thank you. Hmm. What kind of part time job did she have anyway? Mixing drinks like this. With those thoughts swirling around my head, I drank the drink to Mickey handed me. Shuichi! Please come again. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I'll be back. Alright then. Well then, that was kinda neat. Monitor, don't care too much about Monitor. Should we even investigate monitors? Let's actually talk to uh Sumiki directly. See what she thinks about this place. Uh... Even with all these materials and tools, if it's by itself. Hmm. I see. Cosplay's fun to do with others, right? Yeah. There's no point doing it by myself. Do you wanna try? Do you wanna give me do you wanna give it a try? Come on, try cosplaying with me. Huh? Uh, me? Yeah. I think it's just plain fun to become fictional characters. You become a completely different person and feel like you're part of a different world. Right, right? Doesn't sound interesting? Don't you want to live in a fictional world? I. Sumiki is an escapist. Okay. But. She, li she likes to, uh. This cosplay, I guess, is escapism. And to be somebody. Be other, uh, other, other individuals in a fictional world? That's kind of like when you play a MMO and you get, like, so engrossed, in engrossed into it. Yeah, I can, I can kind of relate. Yeah, I can kind of relate. I think most people would see it as weird, but not me. Not, not really. I can to I can totally relate. But I'm investigating right now. All right. Let's do it later. Let me show you when you feel. Let me know when you feel up to it. I hope you become your favorite character, whether it's from an anime, manga, or game. You can't. However, even if you're just trying it out, you gotta cosplay with love. Uh, okay. All right. She's intense. The girl's intense. That's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. Not at all. Can I smack lights around? <laughs> Don't let me smack lights around. I have to like hand the camera real slowly just to get all the lights and stuff. There you go. Control, control, controls, uh, control controls are a little bit finicky when it comes to stuff. There you go. Like a proper smack things around. Somebody look like, oh god, looks like an outright mess. But it's fine, it's whatever. Looks a little bit nicer when it's like open up like this. Alright, so we investigated her ultimate lab. Her lab is huge, holy hell. It's giant. Might be even bigger than Miu's lab, honestly. Anyway, let's see what else we got going on here. Through these epic halls. You know what this kind of makes me think of? The castle from the second game. It's like we're walking around inside of a castle. What have we got going on here? Ooh! <gasps> oh, the stripes! That eye-looking thing it looks like it's looking through a... Uh, looking glass? Looking glass. Microscope? Yeah, like a microscope looking glass thing. You know you know what I'm talking about? I feel like that might be Shuichi's lab. What else is around here? There's a door here with a keyhole. Door only matches the atmosphere of the floor. Doesn't look like it will open. I suppose I have to leave it for now. I bet we're gonna get a key next round or in like on chapter 5 and be able to open it. Uh, what is, uh, hi. Hi, Maki. What do you think of this room? Weirdo. There's an angel statue and a demon statue to the, uh, next to the stairs. The chapels usually have you have these. Hmm. Yeah. This place makes me feel like there's no there is no god. But that, but then there's this. Is that coincidence or just Monokuma's sense of humor? Probably Monokuma thinks of himself as a god. He is the angel and he is the devil. 
It could be our angle or our or your devil. <laughs> okay, let's check this place out. This also looks like a Dutchman lab. But whose lab is it? Alright. Check inside to be sure. Let's see this. One. Remains of a once powerful yokai. 